Thanks for clicking the video. Today we're going to take a look at developing computer applications on Linux, which is a rare feature found in Linux. Not many people know that most Linux distributions always come with all the essential tools that you need to build your own software and or programs and applications. In this video, we're going to look at creating your first executable program using the C programming language. C is an excellent language for building fast and very efficient programs. It can be found in applications where speed and memory footprint matter, such as the Linux kernel and data acquisition systems. In fact, most of the code that make up the GNU slash Linux operating system is written in C. This is a bit different from creating a script file because a script file is just a plain text file that contains a sequence of built-in commands that are executed in order while a C program needs to be compiled into a machine language before it can be executed. So before we get started, let's find out the tools we need in building our C program. We only need the text editor that creates, edits, and saves source code. We also need a C compiler to convert our source code into an executable. For the text editor, we'll be using the nano text editor, but you can use any text editor you want. Check if you have nano installed by opening up a terminal and typing nano. If you don't get a command not found message, that means you have nano installed on your system. Otherwise, if you're on Ubuntu or a Debian-based distribution, then you can easily install it with sudo apt-get install nano. If you're using a different flavor of Linux, however, you can check the manual or ask your administrator to help you with the installation. To exit nano, just hit Control x For the C compiler, we'll be using the GNU Compiler Collection, or GCC, which contains a C compiler among many other languages. Most of the time, Linux comes already equipped with GCC, but you can always check if you have it on your system. On your terminal, type GCC tac tac version, and if you don't get a command not found message, that means you have GCC on your system. Otherwise, if you're on Ubuntu or a Debian-based distribution, then you can easily install it with sudo sudo apt-get install gcc. If you're using a different flavor of Linux, however, you can check the manual or ask your administrator to help you with the installation. If you're all set, you can open up nano on your terminal by typing nano and type in the following codes. A link to the source code used in the video is available in the description below. To save your work, hit Ctrl O. If you are saving your work for the first time, then you have to give it a file name. We'll call it hello.c. Now press enter to save the file and hit Ctrl X to exit nano. Check if it has saved your file with ls. and compile it with gcc tag o hello hello.c this command will convert your source code into an executable the tag o option will output your executable in a file name called hello if everything goes well you'll be back to your prompt and you'll not receive any error messages if you do then go back to your file with nano hello.c and check that you have typed everything correctly. We can now run our program by typing dot slash hello. 
and it will display a hello world message on our screen. Now let's go back to our source code and find out what each line of code does. The first line is a preprocessor directive which tells the compiler to include the header standard io.h so we could use the printf function. The next line is our main function. It serves as the entry point to our program. When we call our program with the dot slash command, the operating system passes the control to our main function. So C program must have only one main function. This line is preceded with a return type, which is an integer type. This return type is a value that can be read by the calling program. In this case, it's our operating system. More on this later. When our main function ends, control is passed back to our operating system. The body of our main function contains the lines of code that make up our program. It is enclosed with curly brackets, which is known as a block in C. The first line of code in our block is a statement that calls the printf function to display the, str the string hello world. A string is a sequence of characters enclosed in double quotes. The backslash n after the hello world is an escape character, which signifies a new line in C. Try removing the backslash n and recompile your program to see what happens. Finally, a statement is ended with a semicolon. To let the compiler know that it is the end of the statement. This is very important as forgetting to put a semicolon at the very end of every statement is a common source of error for beginner C programmers. The last line of code is a return statement. As mentioned earlier, our main function is to return an integer value to the calling program. Normally, a return status of 0 specifies that our program has ended well, while a value other than 0 indicates that an error has occurred. You can read the return status by typing echo dollar question mark immediately after running your program. So that's it for this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more.